Howdy guys, welcome back to another video of Westland Survival. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. So, we have the train attack event upon us. So, we're going to head out. We're going to see if we can try and do this sucker because I know there's a lot of people out there that have raised this issue between all the, pretty much I would imagine all the um, timed events, but in particular, the emergency stop and the train attack event have actually changed. So we're going to go over, we're going to head over and see how this has all changed and see if we can actually, you know, survive it. Now, I am armed. I am pretty much armed. I've got all of my best weapons on me. So we're going to go full send, full beans here. And hopefully we can uh, come out on top. So here we go, boys and girls. Now, probably what I should have done, and I always do this every single bloody time, is I should bring a pickaxe with me, um, just so I can um, pick up all some of the, the free resources that we've got here. So, this is the, the same, you know, bits and bobs. We understand that there's a quest that we've got to do, so we're going to go ahead and do set quest. Now, I know a lot of people have told me in the past, the best thing to do here is you pick yourself up a um, an animal or two, and this way you can, um, you know, have some of uh, some of those animals distract these fellows here while you're going, you know, at this. So, oop, I don't know why I did that, but if I got mature dog, just mature dog. Okay. So we should be fine with this fellow here. There we go. Okie dokie, here we go. Um, we got that from the burglar. How are we doing for durability? Not too bad. I'm going to grab one of these. So... The first rally or two, I sort of tend to um, dispatch these guys pretty quickly without having to, um, you know, um, refer to using um, a, a, an animal that I tame uh, going from, you know, from one place to another kind of thing. So I rather sort of try and save those towards the end, if that makes sense. I don't know, that's just the way I, I felt like I've done it in the past, so you guys let me know how you guys have, have done it in the past up until now uh, in the comment section. I'm just going to leave those there. So we're doing okay. Alright, there's a couple of fellas over here. So there's a few waves here. So I don't think, I don't remember this being as hectic as the, um, the last time as I remembered it. Okay, let's just quickly get these fellas here to... Okay, beautiful. Um, all right, so let's just take the whiskey. Uh, let's take that from the sniper. Let's go ahead and do a quick little heal and health and starvation. Oh, well, thirst. All right, so we've got to destroy here. What I want to try and do is can we can we go three for one? Okay, so we've only got two for one there, but that's fine because. I think we got them put down pretty quickly. So if you've got a weapon that does spread attack like one of these shotguns here, um, that's probably your best bet to um, to dispatch them quicker. So the first three, I believe three waves, probably weren't the best. Probably not the best. Okay, so you got a, we've got a couple of grizzlies over here as well. Just trying to sort of scout to see where these guys are held up. We've got a doggy over here. So let's see if we can just go... Oop, okay. Probably not the best, but that's okay. Alright, so we've got most of them dispatched, which is okay on this front here. I'm just sort of trying to be conscious with my heels as well at the same time. Um, just making sure that we are not in a disadvantage situation, but it has done actually a number of my <clears throat> uh, durability on my uh, clothing. So I guess what you could do at this point here, make a call as you're sort of doing a bit of a scanning around, you can potentially see that it doesn't look like that's the main area. And this is the thing, right? You want to make sure that You've got a watchdog over there. See, as you can see, you've got all the uh, all the loots there. So you would imagine that the main boss is over in the middle section here. I know it sort of changes from time to time, so don't quote me on that. But I believe I've seen that happen in the past. So um, take that for uh, for what you will. But that's how I've seen it in the past myself. Um, what do we got over here? Who, who we got? Oh, it's just a little wild piggy. Okay, little wild piggy. All right. So there's the boss. Okay, I just want to see how he's orientated. 
So we've got these fellas over there. And I just want to see if we can sort of make our way around. But I think they're all looking at the same direction, which is not in my best interest. So, oh, here we go. So we can try and get these guys three for one by using the spread shot um, from the shotgun. And hopefully we can take these fellas out quickly. And then this should enable us to get all of the, um, all the goodies. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, there we go. That was done actually pretty pretty nicely. I'm pretty happy with that, to be perfectly honest with you. And then here we go. We can go ahead and go to the courier. Basically just tells you that he's all good. He's happy now that we um, able to, he's able to deliver what he's able to uh, deliver. And then this should enable us to get all of the goods. So that's what we're going to do here right now. Um, okay, so some set of clothing, some bits and pieces. So let's just go ahead and grab that. Actually, I'll probably pop that there, take that with me. And um, what do we have here? So you might have to go back and forth, I guess. But I mean, this just sort of ensures that you can um, uh, get to the finish line. I know it takes a little bit of power, um, a little bit of resources on your part, but some of the stuff here are worth it in what, you know, in what you're wanting to um, obtain, yeah. Um, so I'm going to leave those there because I've got a ton of that and a ton of that as you can see So I'm not going to bother with this now I believe the train attack event gives you the cowbell as well. So we hopefully we should get ourselves a little cowbell um, Okay, I'm just sort of looking at here what I um, Value over and above so look I'm, I don't value that too much I've got a few of those to be honest with you and this I could just much on really can't I? Okay, and hopefully this is the chest that gives me all the rarities. There you go. So I got myself a cowbell. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So let's just go ahead and take all and what we can get. I definitely want to come back for this stuff as well. So these are the, some of the things I want to grab. So let's just exclude that, take that. Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, so what I can do is I can go back to the horsey drop a few things off and um, yeah we can grab everything else now if you really wanted to for oh god you're on your hind legs there if you really wanted to we can come back here and we can try and dispatch these fellows here if you really wanted to so I've got I've got the power we can do this okay Okay, and we can try and get the spread shot as much as we can and fully dispatched. Okay, so everyone's pretty much taken out now. The zone is ours effectively and we can go in and, you know, clean up uh, the zone itself. Take all the stuff that we want and uh, basically go from there. Now, the other thing I wanted to do, I was actually lucky to get myself a pickaxe. So we will be able to grab all those resources here without having to go back uh, to the... Um, uh, sorry, we haven't, you know, without having to go back to our base and, you know, do all that sort of stuff. But if you really wanted to, um, you can most definitely uh, bring yourself a pickaxe and you'll be good to go. So that's basically it, guys. I just wanted to give you guys a quick little run through on the train attack event uh, since the new updates and just sort of give you an, uh, an idea on how I tackle it. And you notice I didn't even use um, a pet or an animal. And it is all um, wave, sorry, level dependent as well. So keep that in mind. Um, so you're not going to, um, it's going to be different for, you know, your experience versus my experience is going to be a lot different. So just keep that in the back of your, your minds there, guys. But I think you guys should be able to get by without a problem. Um, I'm going to give you a little treat there just so I can open up an extra um, slot there. But like I said, guys, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about this here. Has it, um, how do you feel, how has it changed for you? Has it become more difficult? Do you still do the same thing as you've done in the past or do you do something completely different? Let me know in the comment section. Alrighty guys, that's gonna be it for me. So I thank you guys for watching checking out this one. I know it's only a short video, but I just wanted to pump this one out for you guys there, but do leave a like. 
share your thoughts, share your experiences with me, and not only myself, but everyone else in the comment section as well. And if you guys are new, and if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. Alrighty guys, take it easy, and I will catch you guys in the next one.